Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you just close your eyes and imagine, you can almost smell the brats cooking. Nothing says football season like a good old-fashioned matchup in the Big Ten as two old conference rivals square off in this one. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. incredible college football matchup. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kickers got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. From the 8-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Hairston's decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance of at least shutting him down. Taking back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 29-yard line, down, second down. down. Mike one, Mike one. Set, cut. Cut. There's a strike complete, and he's taken down around the 39-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. play calling in a third down situation. It's plays like that you need to win ball games. Convert on third down. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. That makes it second and two. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there, and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Fires that quickly incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on the 45 yard line. He's scrambling. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, that you're definitely going to feel it the next day. And this play is number eight on the drive. play by that defender. That was solid fundamental pass defense. Johnson to punt. He 
He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 31 yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Swings it out there incomplete. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. Taken down around the 32 yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 30. Good possession there for the defense. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. Bridges is waiting for the snap. He makes it to the 48-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 41-yard line. He's under some heat. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Mike one, Mike one. Cut, cut, cut. Set. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. the 38. That's good for him. That makes it fourth and eight. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. You ain't going nowhere. Nice number one, nice number one. Hey. Once and all, going deep. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 51-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the six. Tackle made at the 25. The Buckeyes really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 43 yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. Two. 
Complete. He's got room. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's on the run. And he tackles him hard at the 31. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. at the 20 and he's tackled at the 18 yard line we've got a first and 10 ball on the 18 yard line not a lot of offense in quarter number one but nonetheless we've got a close game Ohio State's lead is a touchdown to the action now here in the second quarter. The 10, and he snags that one. Tackle made at the nine yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And the end zone touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's check in on some Big 12 action. The Red Raiders have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. The Cowboys are out front 28-21. In another game, the Sooners had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. They dominated this game on the scoreboard, in the running game, the passing game, on defense, on special teams. Other than that, it was pretty close. The Sooners took pleasure in opening up the can. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Ross, Minnesota is lining up to kick this one off. Gross from the seven. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Gives it to the back. And down he goes, right around the 40. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And they finally make the stop at the 26-yard line. down at the 14-yard line. And they make the stop at about the 11. That'll make it second to seven. Here we go. 
Room around the corner. He's got an opening. Touchdown, Ohio State. And he converts the extra point. Bellamy gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And down he goes. That's the 24. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 37. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on their own 38. Makes it to the 47. That'll bring up third and inches. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. And they get enough for the first. What's interesting about that short run on third down is now, now they have the ability to go to play-action pass and stretch out this defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. He might have a chance. He makes his way out to about the 35. First and ten. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18. Quick throw. Huge play, and it's 
going to be first and goal. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. We're at the 12th play of the drive. There's a fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. From their own 28-yard line, second down, Ohio State is up seven. Looking for his man, incomplete. You know, great effort here by the ball carrier, but I think they need to pass in that situation most of the time. Brown, back deep to return. And he's taken down at the 37-yard line. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. Got a man. Watch out here. And he's level at the 44-yard line. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, eight. Motion. Quick pass. And he's taken down at the 49. Game seven on the play. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Green 9, green 9. Yellow 3. He steps out right around the 44 yard line. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. The Buckeyes with a touchdown lead. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Power, ISO, counter. Sweeps, run, 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 run. And look at that defensive line on skates. An impressive performance running the football in the first half. I love grown man football. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You don't have to do all this fancy stuff and throw all the yard and pass and run with your quarterback all the time. We're lining up, we're hitting you right in the eyes. If you want to do something about it, put your big boy pads on, come forward and hit me and stop me. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Ohio State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's tackled at about the 31. That makes it second and two. 
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackled after positive yardage. Gaining five yards. First down. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. McLeod on the tackle at the 46 yard line. From their own 46 yard line. First down. at the 45. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper. A loss of one. And now he pitches it. Tackled for a loss. Third down and 13. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's looking for his man. He got it! Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Big opening. Runs right for a nice game. That's good for a game three yards. That makes it third and goal. The ball's on the six-yard line, and we've got third and goal. Throws after the running back. No good. Kick is up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Minnesota ready to kick this one off. Gross fields it at the one. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. the 33-yard line. He 
He's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made around the 18-yard line. Inside the 10. Big play, and it's first and goal. And for Hairston, he just broke 100 yards on the ground. There are so many different ways he can hurt you. Today, he's done it with his feet. I think he's easily one of the most complete players in the country. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Ohio State is up by four. Down he goes at the one. That's a game three, three on the play. play. That brings up second and goal. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Dives and he's down. That makes it third and goal. Touchdown, Bucks. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Time to check out what's going on in Stillwater. And for Oklahoma State, they're now bowl eligible after today's win. And for Robert, he fired bullets all over the field with six touchdown passes. After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat boy dog warrior. In other action, let's have a look at what's going on in Los Angeles. The Sun Devils have a lethal pass-catch combination for a touchdown. Black's already starting to show off that arm, having thrown for more than 150 yards. Arizona State leads it 17-14 at the start of the fourth quarter. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Bellamy has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Brown fields it at the seven. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. 21-10, Ohio State. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Mike five, Mike five. Go four, three, nine. And he tackles him hard at the 48. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10, ball on the 48-yard line. Now he pitches it, and they push him out around the 47-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 38. knock him out at the 12. I think this defense got a little bit soft with the two possession lead. They better pick it up because this game is a long way from being over.
Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And they make the stop around the 12 yard line. again on third down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Off to L.A. we go. Let's take a look at this one again. And for USC, they're having all kinds of trouble so far. The Sun Devils have the edge 24-17. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. They line up to kick this one away. And down he goes at the 27. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Ohio State holds an eight-point advantage. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. Scrambling around, and they get the sack. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and ten. Minnesota is going to use their first time out of the half here. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Kelly, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Brown fields it at the 27. He's tackled at the 47. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Oh, and a huge drop by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up third and four. Throws in the middle. 
And he's taken down at the 35. On the tackle at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 35-yard line, first down. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That is a loss of four yards. That will bring up second and 15. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Third down and long, and they could really use a big play by their quarterback here this late in the game. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled around the 36 yard line. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back in the zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. We have less than a minute to go. Going deep, lays it out there. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That's good for a game of 28 yards. Easy, easy, player, player. Two. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow. And he's tackled in the open field. Kill, kill. That brings us to two. Spikes the ball. That makes us go to Here's play number 10 on the drive. to his receiver. Touchdown. All right, guys. Crucial two-point conversion. They'll try to tie this thing up. They go on the ground and fail on the two-point conversion. A 10-play, 53-yard drive, but they just get six points after failing to convert for two. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. The score now, 21-19. Brought down to the 38-yard line. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. We should just see the quarterback taking knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Golden Gophers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Ohio State holds just a two-point lead. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 21-19, Buckeye. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.